Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how uh, Workhorse and Rocket Company are both benefiting from COVID-19. And I will explain in this video. But before I talk about it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And right now the market is green. Uh, it was slightly red before I recorded it, then suddenly it just jumped to green. So look for a green day tomorrow. At least in my opinion. Uh, it could just do the opposite and we could see a red day tomorrow. But uh, that's the market for you. Uh, it can be, uh, it can crash anytime. But at the moment, I'm not really too concerned about crash. I don't think it's going to crash anytime soon. Well, I don't think it's going to crash in September. October, mid October, late October. It's a little. It's maybe when uh, I'd be a little bit worried. But for now, I think the market is fine. But if you are scared, you can sell out and wait for a market crash or gamble. Not wait, gamble because you nobody truly knows if the election will cause a market crash. Everyone assumes that the market will crash in November. So if you want to gamble on the market crashing, then you should cash out of your position and wait. Not financial advice, just my opinion. So uh, let's talk about Rocket Company. So I don't know where Rocket Company stock will go. Like I seriously don't. But if we look at the earnings, it's fantastic. Look at that. You know, they increased from $1 billion of revenue to, you know, 4.4, I think this is off. I think it's actually $5 billion of revenue. And they came in with a net income of $3.5 billion. That is insane. That's an insane amount of money that they are making. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's, I, that's the reason why I'm so bullish on this company is they're making an insane amount of money. And I think... The biggest reason for this jump in revenue from one billion to five billion is because of COVID nineteen. Think about it: people are not going to go to a traditional bank right now because of COVID. So they are looking for online alternatives, and Rocket Mortgage is an online broker uh, for mortgage and people who want to refinance their comp uh, their homes. So because of the low interest rates that's happening right now in the market, big money is taking advantage of this low interest rate by refinancing. And they are so they're, they're basically taking the property and they're refinancing it for a lower interest rate so they can make money off of that refinancing and saving money on that interest rate. And who's benefiting big time from this? Rocket Company because they're on online. Uh, they're, they're, they're like the best online, well, there is competitors, but according to, uh, you know, my research, they are one of the better online brokers. And, uh, be, uh, like, let's, for example, meet Kevin. He made a video about Rocket Company, uh, and he's also uses Rocket Company for his, um, for his mortgages, for his refinance, because he owns multiple homes and because of the low interest rate he basically refinanced his home using rocket company and he's a real estate guy he probably knows other real estate guy and they're probably spreading this among their friends so the rocket company is getting a lot of advertisement and my, my bet is Graham Stephan is also oh I don't have Graham Stephan here but uh yeah, Graham Stephan is all probably also. I thought I had Graham Stephan up, but oh well. Anyways, Graham Stephan is also his friend, so they're probably both using Rocket Mortgage companies. They're probably both refinancing their homes, getting the low interest rate, and Rocket Company is benefiting big time from that. Not from from two factors, from exposure. And think about it, me, Kevin, and Graham Stephan are both real estate agents. When they do help a client out. Uh, they are probably referring them to Rocket Company for refinancing their home or taking out a mortgage so they don't have to go to the bank because when you have to go to the bank, you gotta wear a mask. Uh, you gotta, you know, it's uncomfortable to sit down. This, the, on the Rocket Company, it's easier. You just, you sit down with the client. You know, you don't even sit down with the client. You just apply online and they take care of it. Or I don't know how it works. 
but Kevin really likes it. Me, Kevin really likes it. So obviously, there's probably a lot of real estate agents. Like also, if you look at the revenue increase, right, from one billion to four billion, obviously they are benefiting from this COVID nineteen and lower interest rate right now in a big, big way. Uh, they have a market cap of forty five billion dollars which is uh, underrated in my opinion for a company that's making so much money right now. Uh, so yeah, like look at Zoom, right? Zoom makes nowhere near the amount of profit Rocket Company is making and they are evaluated twice, more than twice uh, the valuation of Rocket Company right now. So, and they make nowhere near amount of income. And then we look at Petron Interactive, they're not even profitable. They make nowhere near the amount of revenue as Rocket Company and their valuation is half of Rocket Company right now. So, and these both of these companies are both benefiting from the COVID-19 situation that's going on right now. So, uh, yeah, and then Rocket Company is also benefiting because people don't want to go to banks. They don't want to go to the traditional bank right now because of the COVID. They'd rather do everything online and a lot of people are probably referring them to Rocket Company, like a lot of real estate agents, in my, in my opinion. So I, I think Rocket Company is going to be around for a while, and I think they are tremendously benefiting from this, uh, from this COVID-19 situation, at least that's my opinion. Uh, so how is Workhorse benefiting from this COVID-19? They're not. This is the, uh, I mean, maybe the, the, the drone technology, but I'll be honest with you, Workhorse is probably not really benefiting from this. I'm just using this as a clickbait. I apologize, but Workhorse stock is hot right now, and uh, you know they are going to get a USP government contract. And you know I'm sorry I use Workhorse as a clickbait, but. People watch workhorse videos. I put out workhorse videos, it gets at least, you know, 500 views. So that's why I put workhorse under this. Let's talk about Giga Metal Corporation. What is Giga Metal Corporation, you ask me? They are basically a uh, exploration lithium company. They have a lithium, not lithium, uh, nickel. The nickel company. And their stock shot up like crazy, like crazy. And you know, if we look, just like six months ago, the stock was trading at 18 cents. You know, maybe even as close to as 14 cents at one point. And then now it's boom, you know, a dollar sixty-five. If you bought in at like, you know, 17 cents, you would have been up almost a thousand percent. So, yeah. It's a, uh, you know, it's crazy how like this, like, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I know that big money uh, did try to pump the stock. And then when big money pumped the stock, uh, retail investors get an alert and they're like, oh, look, a stock getting pumped. So then the retail investors come in and help pump the stock to the upside even further. My bet is on Monday when the market opens, it's probably going to have a sell-off because all the retail investors are going to take their profit. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it will just keep getting pumped up. But if we look at the market cap, it's not too bad. So there's still potential for the stock to go up because if we look at like the competitors in this space, like FPX, Neko, they're $127 million. And then we look at TLO, they're $135 million. These are both nickel plays and they're both penny stocks. But Giga is a hundred and one million dollars. If you saw this thing at, you know, you know, twenty cents, fourteen cents, and you loaded up a hundred K, you would have been so happy right now. Like a hundred K shares would be about twenty twenty thousand dollars. So if you put twenty thousand dollars or roughly around there into this nickel play when it was around twenty cents or lower, you would have been super happy right now, like super happy right now, you would have been up like, pff, like a lot of money, like 
a hundred thousand plus dollars or something like that like a hundred and sixty five thousand dollars so <laughs> that's insane it's insane amount of return on investment uh let's look at la last mile right like i'm hoping last mile does the same thing it might not and at the end of the day it all depends on big money if big money comes in because they see oh hey this company is profitable uh, this company's doing well, and just randomly, uh, a big money decides one day to pump this stock to a dollar, and you bought in at low prices. You could be making a huge fortune off it, but be warned. You know, there's also a chance the stock price may not even do anything for the longest time, and just never do anything. Just sit there and go down even further. There's also that possibility, but if you were scared of that then i mean definitely do your research and this is not financial advice uh you know that's why i say put a little bit of gambling money in it not financial advice at all just in case just in case somebody comes along like jmac or you know some big youtuber maybe jeremy or something comes along and pumps the stock you could be rich you could be rich so, yeah, I don't know. It's just, this company needs the proper PR. Uh, and I think this stock will go up because stocks are worth as much as investors are willing to put in. So if this stock got like pumped by Jeremy or by, uh, I don't know, J-Mac or somebody, some YouTuber, you could make a fortune off this company. A fortune off this company. I can't push the stock price up. But other YouTubers can. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in the future. I'm just saying that this has a lot of potential. But at the same time, it might just sit here and do nothing for the longest time. So that's the, that's the gamble. Remember, Green Power Motor Company. If I... You know, like this stock used to be 20 or less than 20 cents before the reverse merger. If I came to you and I was telling you to buy Green Power Motor and I made a video about it, I'd be like, Green Power Motor is going to make you rich. You're going to make so much money off Green Power Motor. They make electric bus. People be like looking at us and be like, 20 cents stock. Are you crazy? I can lose all my money. Well, it skyrocket, and you may you could have made ridiculous returns on this investment. So I'm just saying that the, that the last mile could happen the same thing, or it can just sit there and do nothing for the longest time. One of the two scenarios will happen. That's why I'm saying put a little bit of gambling money in this one. Do your research. Make sure you understand the company. And realize that you can lose 100% of your money. Or your money is going to sit there and do nothing for a long time. So realize that when you invest into this company, it's probably going to be, you know, that if it crashes, probably won't crash by much. And not, you know, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And Diamond Peak Holdings, I think this is going to hit $30 next week. And then it's going to crash. It's going to hit $30 and it's going to crash, in my opinion. Am I going to sell at $30? No. Because I still think that this company is undervalued even at $30. So I'm not going to sell. That's just my plan moving forward. I'm not selling my, my shares. I'm going to hold this long term. I don't care if this the market crashes and this thing goes back to $10 because that's a possibility. If it goes to $100... Or $50, I might take some profit. I might take some prof profit at $50 or $100, but I'm not taking profit at $30. That's my, my, that's just my strategy. Do what you want. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.